So I was recently accused of faking an image from Google Earth. And let me just show you the image first to show its real image. And here it is. Let me just zoom in. This is the image that uh, someone called Dr. John said I was faking. And he did this in a uh, little slideshow video he made. He said, well, Mr. West disproves the globe model. And then he showed me what uh, he said is the manipulated image, which is this image, the one I just showed you. And he said, he said it should actually look like this. And of course, these images are taken from different viewpoints with different view, different zoom settings. And this is a bit clearer when uh, he tries to replicate my image. He doesn't seem to understand that you can actually zoom in a long way in Google Earth. So he just moved the camera really close. This is what I get with uh, zooming in on Google Earth. And this is what he gets by moving the camera closer. And of course, they look very different because the camera is going in a completely different position. Uh, so how do you actually get this zoomed in image? And what's he doing here? Let's have a quick look at back into Google Earth Pro. And this is my image. I'm going to exit out of it real quick and show you where we're at. We're at uh, the, the Yacht Club. Here it is, the Yacht Club in Worthing. Uh, oh, it's actually right here. The Yacht Club in Worthing. Uh, which is a long way from Beachy Head, all the way over here. Now, what Dr. John did was he moved the camera all the way over here, didn't zoom in at all, and he said this is what it should look like. But what we're actually interested in is not what it looks like from right here, it's like what it actually looks like from Worthing. So to do that, you've got to go to Worthing, and you've got to zoom all the way down, and you've got to look over there now of course everything's so far away that you can't actually see anything you can just kind of see beachy head p poking over but i have this uh this zoomed in view how do i do it how do i get a zoomed in view of beachy head from worthing well it's uh, something i've explained in other videos but i'm going to replicate it here just so you understand what's going on so what you do you go over to the thing you want to take uh, an image of or you want to zoom in on you go and add a polygon. So let's uh, add polygon. And I'm just going to call it marker. And you just go click in a little square. Then you go to altitude. You change it so it's an absolute altitude. You just change it to some high value, like 10,000 meters. Click on extend size to ground. And it gives you this lovely monolith in Google Earth that you can see from miles away. So now if I go down here, I can see that. So very helpful when you're, uh, you're zooming in. Uh, so, uh, move the camera all the way down to somewhere near the, the beach. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So, maybe 149 meters. That's about where we took the image from. And I'm going to do uh, add a photograph. I don't think you can do it from here. So go to the menu, add, and then add photo. And uh, just I'm going to do demo photo and I'm going to put in it doesn't matter what you put in here I'm going to put in a link to a transparent image I have on my web server https slash slash www.metabunk.org slash t and just tab out of that to load it and here it is now what I can do is I can change the field of view this is how you zoom in to extreme distances on Google Earth and zoom in and you can already see i've zoomed in quite a way you can see what we want to be looking at is over here so i change the heading push stick it in the middle and tilt it down or up rather moving the image down tilting the camera up now i can zoom in a bit more and there it is there is the image that dr john said i was faking and very clearly it's a real image in Google Earth, and this is the image from, this is where the camera is. The camera is at Worthing, and Beachy Head is over here. And what we're seeing is this little peak of cliff. Uh, now, let's see, I want to turn this marker off, so I just need to exit out real quick, turn off the marker, go back into the demo, and I uh, see we're at 149 meters here. It moves around for some reason. but. If we go down to much closer to sea level, still at Worthing, still in the same position, go down to closer to sea level, you'll see the ocean start to obscure things. And what we're actually seeing in Dr. John's other video, which is what I was critiquing, and I don't really have time to fully get into here, 
is oop, that all we're seeing is this little white square here. Yeah, let me just uh, bring it further down. I can't go all the way down to, you know, three meters or whatever it would be on the beach because on the real world we have refraction, which uh, lifts things up a bit more. So I'm going to go down to basically what we see. And this is just like nine meters above, uh, above ground, above the sea level. Uh, I think it's the same thing in this thing because we're on the beach. And we're just seeing this little white speck of cliff. And if you look at my other video, you'll see this top here uh, can be fitted to uh, a contrast enhanced uh, screen grab of one of the frames that shows that little white speck. And you can see that uh, it is in fact this cliff that he's seeing and not the entire cliff. Actually, let me just show you a little bit from that video. Luckily, he zoomed in enough on one shot that we can use this to fit the skyline to the actual view and see what's going on. He's actually seeing the cliff that's behind the lighthouse. And back to my explanation. And this top does not really change shape as you get higher, so you can actually use it for a fit. And the distance between here and here doesn't change, so it's a perfect fit. And you see, look at the top, it doesn't actually change shape. Here is my nun faked image. Sorry for rambling. Uh, I am preparing for a talk in the Plaza Hotel and Casino this weekend, where I'm going to try to explain why I think the Earth is not flat and why other people should also not think that. And if you're interested in flat Earth, come along. It's only 20 bucks. Uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday I'm doing a debate with Nathan Thompson. And there it is. Let me just go back to my image. In summary, this is Dr. John's image. Wrong. And this is my image. Which is a real correct image of Beachy Head zoomed in from 150 meters above Worthing.